Hello friends, this video on force and pressure part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's look at few more examples which says that it can change state of motion. That is suppose you are driving your car. So you can change the speed or you can vary the speed of your car. So you, you can make your car move really really fast. You can make your car, car move really, really slow. You can change the direction of your car whether you want to go right or left so those direction can be changed and for all each of these changes you need to apply some force so force can change the state of motion similarly let us suppose there are two vehicles running on the road now if one of these vehicles they just apply an accelerator without seeing if any other vehicle is coming or not then these two vehicles might collapse they might collide with each other so what happened both were moving initially but now their speed decreased in fact maybe one or two both of them would have come to rest so their state of motion changed now there can be some other examples where we know that we are applying force but we do not evidently see a change in the state of motion let us look at this example. Let us suppose that this person is trying really really hard to make the wall move. So he is applying force. So you cannot say that he is not applying force. He is applying force but the wall is not moving. So in this case what will you say? That force is not causing a change in state of motion? Well in this case also force is causing a change. But what kind of change is it causing? It is causing some change internally. So the change is so nominal when compared to the mass of that object because the wall is extremely heavy and hard, right? So the mass of the object is extremely heavy. So the force which is being applied by the person, even though it is a I mean, very strong force, but it is not strong enough to get noticed. Now, if the same wall, if, if force is being applied to the same wall using a bulldozer, what will happen to the wall? So the wall will just vanish. Right, because the force applied by the bulldozer is going to be very very high when compared to the force applied by this person. So sometimes the change which is being brought by the applied force is not noticeable. Now, it is not only the change of state, change, changing the state of motion which takes place on applying force. Force can also change the shape of object. So let us see how force can change shape of an object. Now. Let us suppose you have a balloon, a balloon which has already been inflated. So you have a big round balloon. Now what do you think will happen if you apply some force on the balloon? If you try to press the balloon from both sides using your hands. The balloon, the shape of the balloon changes. Initially it was all spherical. Now it is little oval in structure. So it gets pressed due to the force applied by your hands. So this shows that force application can bring about a change in the shape of the object. Let us look at few more examples. Just think of your toothpaste tube. Now whenever you press the tube, toothpaste comes out of it. But have you ever noticed that at the same time, the shape of the tube also keeps changing? As more and more uh, paste comes out of it, the shape of the tube also keeps changing. So what changes the shape of the tube? It is due to the force which is applied when we squeeze it. So we apply some force on the tube which causes a change in shape of the tube. Take another example where you break an object. For example, you have a gun. You apply so much of force that it breaks. So do you, don't you think that the shape got changed? Earlier it was just one single piece of a gun. But now it is just broken into two parts. So there is a change in shape. So in all these examples you can see that on applying a force the object might change its shape. So whenever a force is applied either the state of motion will change that means moving object will come to rest or an object at rest will start moving, speed of the object will change or direction of motion will change or the shape of the object will change. So one of these changes will have to take place whenever force is applied. So that is why we define force as a push or pull which causes a change in shape of the object or a change in state of motion of the object. Let us now look at some of the examples where we will see that force is being applied in many different directions. So do you remember the game of tug of war where you have a big strong rope and then you have two teams. One team on 
one side and the other team on the other side of the rope and then this team let us say this is team one and this is team two so both of them what do they do they they try to push the rope or they try to pull the rope rather towards themselves so these first these people this team two they try to apply a force in this direction whereas team one tries to apply a force in this direction and who wins the team who applies a greater force because the one who applies a greater force the rope tends to move in that direction and then the other team falls towards them so that is how tug of war is being played and here we see uh, i mean this is one of the best example where you can actually see how force is being applied let us take another example you play so many different types of games for example think of cricket so in cricket the bowler he bowls so when he throws the ball he needs to apply some force so that the ball moves or the ball travels a particular distance so what is the bowler doing the bowler is applying a force on the ball before throwing it similarly the person who is batting he also needs to apply a force so that his bat strikes or hits the ball so strong that the ball again can travel a certain distance so this person is also applying some force on the ball through his bat right again you take another example like hockey so there also players have their hockey sticks with which they try to uh, hit the ball so there also they are applying a force think of football so what what happens in football the, uh, the player tends to kick the ball so when he kicks the ball he is actually applying a force with his leg on the ball basketball where again you throw the ball you try to throw it to to reach a greater height so that the ball falls into the basket so here also you are applying a force on the ball so while playing any of the games you tend to apply force so that the ball is able to move in your desired way let us think of some other examples now it is not necessary that only pushing pulling or kicking stuffs uh, involves force there are some different types of examples as well for example when you lift objects lifting objects is one example there where you do not push an object you do not pull an object but still you are applying a force on the object so let us suppose that this big box this purple box which this man is carrying it was lying on the ground so first he has to pick it from the ground so do you think that the person will have to apply some force to pick the box from the ground yes of course it is a huge box and you need to apply some force so that you are able to pick it up and carry it or lift it from the ground so during lifting also you need to apply some force now not only lifting if you look at the third picture you see that he lifted the box and then he is carrying it as well so he has to continuously apply some force on the box so that he is able to carry the box constantly as he moves so these are also examples where force is being applied on the object so as i as in the definition i said that force is a push or pull which causes a change in motion of the object or change in shape now it is not necessary that force has to be only push or pull it can be a push pull lifting an object kicking an object so all these will be force but it is for sure that it is going to change either of the two things either it will change the shape of object or it will change the state of motion thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again